Hi, I'm Joe Campion, a Director of Quadrant Building Control. In this video, I'll talk about the major changes proposed for the 2020 update to Part L of the building regulations. The 2020 Part L revision is intended to be a stepping stone towards the introduction of the government's future home standards of 2025. This standard in turn is part of a strategy to bring all the UK's greenhouse gas emissions to net zero by 2050, a target the UK government has set in law. By 2025, the Future Home Standard aims to deliver homes that produce 75 to 80% less CO2 than under the current 2013 Part L and that are no longer reliant on fossil fuels for heating or hot water. Instead, electric heating through a decarbonised grid will be the primary source of heating in hot water. Improved U-values and air permeability rates will be required. Proposals also include the removal of the local planning authority's ability to set local energy efficiency standards above the requirements of the building regulations. Instead, there will be unified national standards for energy efficiency. We expect to see a few main changes in the 2020 Part L that will be a stepping stone towards the 2025 regulations. These changes will only apply to new build dwellings. They are. The SAP Energy Assessment Calculation Tool will be revised to include primary energy use and householder affordability targets. CO2 emission target will be retained as a secondary metric. Uplifting fabric insulation standards and efficiency standards for heating, hot water and ventilation systems. These are the proposed U values for new build houses under the 2020 Part L1. Greater focus will be placed on final construction to reduce the gap between design performance and as-built performance. All new dwellings will require air permeability testing. Sample testing on larger developments will no longer be permitted. This means you will have to test every dwelling in a development. A photo log of building details and thermal elements will now be required during construction and at completion for building regulation approval. The changes will have a considerable impact on building services. Heat pump boilers will be the most favoured heating system. Photovoltaics are also expected to be required in all new dwellings. For larger detached houses, there is a greater expectation or even a requirement for PV systems in addition to heat pump boilers. LED lighting can help get a pass. Wastewater heat recovery systems will be required or passing sap will be more difficult. It will be harder to achieve a pass with electric panel heaters, except in small apartments and very well insulated homes with PV systems. It will be extremely difficult to achieve compliance with oil or LPG boilers. For dwellings without a mains gas supply, electric heat pump boilers will be the only viable source of heating. It should still be possible to achieve compliance with gas boilers, but will be harder. Within Part L, the expectation is that low temperature heating will be specified for all new dwellings. This is where the supplied temperature for central heating water lies between 45 Celsius and 55 Celsius, instead of between 75 Celsius and 85 Celsius, as with traditional heating. This works well with heat pump boilers and district heating systems. Oversized low temperature radiators or underfloor heating will be required. For dwellings that do not use low temperature heating, SAP will be more difficult to pass. As soon as the revised document is published, and we still expect this to be this year, we'll give a detailed update and explain how and when it will come into effect. One thing that we believe is likely under transitional provisions is for multiple dwelling applications, such as larger housing sites, construction on each dwelling will need to have commenced by a specific date for the current Partel to remain applicable. We'll keep you posted on further developments in our newsletter. You can sign up to this at the link below. If you have any questions about the changes to Partel or any other building regulation issues, 
please contact us on the number that's on the screen now. Hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much for watching.